with a special message about music itself. Music has magical powers. And I'm not talking about the movie special effect thing that's not really real. I'm talking about true power. Music can transport your brain and transport your emotion to new places. Music can heal the sick. It can bring people together. It can purify the soul. And it can change the world. It has many times over. Anywhere you go on this big, beautiful earth, in every corner, in every culture of the world, there is music, and there always was. It's there when a mother soothes her baby to sleep. It's there when people celebrate. It's there when people fall in love. And it's there when people have to find a way to cope with the pain of loss. Music is the universal language of humankind. Do you know what that means? That means you are musical. If you can talk, you sure enough can sing. And if your heart is pumping, you got the beat. Musical genius Victor Wooten is one of the greatest players ever on the bass. And he has some uh, really beautiful insight into music and how we experience it and how we grow as musicians. He's been a huge inspiration to me as a musician and as an educator. And I wanted to share some of his words with you. So let's see what he has to say about the language of music. Music is a language. Both music and verbal languages serve the same purpose. They are both forms of expression. They can be used as a way to communicate with others. They can be read and written. They can make you laugh or cry, think or question, and can speak to one or many. And both can definitely make you move. In some instances, music works better than the spoken word because it doesn't have to be understood to be effective. Although many musicians agree that music is a language, it is rarely treated as such. Many of us treat it as something that can only be learned by following a strict regiment under the tutelage of a skilled teacher. This approach has been followed for hundreds of years with proven success, but it takes a long time, too long. Think about the first language you learned as a child. More importantly, think about how you learned it. You were a baby when you first started speaking, and even though you spoke the language incorrectly, you were allowed to make mistakes, and the more mistakes you made, the more your parents smile. Learning to speak was not something you were sent somewhere to do only a few times a week. And the majority of the people you spoke to were not beginners. They were already proficient speakers. Imagine your parents forcing you to only speak to other babies until you were good enough to speak to them probably be an adult before you could carry on a proper conversation. To use a musical term, as a baby, you were allowed to jam with professionals. If we approach music in the same natural way we approached our first language, we would learn to speak it in the same short time it took to speak our first language. Proof of this can be seen in almost any family where a child grows up with other musicians in the family. Here 
are a few keys to follow in learning or teaching music. In the beginning, embrace mistakes instead of correcting them. Like a child playing air guitar, there are no wrong notes. Allow young musicians to play and perform with accomplished musicians on a daily basis. Encourage young musicians to play more than they practice. The more they play, the more they will practice on their own. Music comes from the musician, not the instrument. And most importantly, remember that a language works best when we have something interesting to say. Many music teachers never find out what their students have to say. We only tell them what they are supposed to say. A child speaks a language for years before they even learn the alphabet. Too many rules at the onset will actually slow them down. In my eyes, the approach to music should be the same. After all, music is a language too. Thanks, Mr. Wooten. Now, for years, I've worked to help you develop your musical voice and your musicality in class by making music together. Since we're not physically together now, we're going to have to change it up a little bit. Um, go through and check out the videos on the YouTube page. Follow up on them. If you like something, go ahead and do your own work. I'll try to leave as many open ends as I can. Don't be afraid to ask questions, to ask for more follow-up. Um, and let's see how we can make the most of this unique learning opportunity that we have over the next few weeks. Okay? Have a great day.